Let's go. If you let people tell you you can't do things and you believe in that, hey, cut that out, for real. What's going on, folks? It's K Spade, the prospect. I'm back today with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team gameplay just for you guys here on the Full House ENT. And I'm also back with my very own card identification system. It returns in this episode. So if you're watching the Full House ENT, you lucky. You got two for the price of one BOGO. Let's get into it, folks. Of course, I'm the Pain Makers. We're rocking the Raiders Unis. And Clay Matthews is kicking this game off the right way with an interception to put my offense on the field early. I love it. And you guys know I'm going to try to run that read option. That's what I do. I, a lot of people ask me what playbook I'm running. As of right now, I'm running the 49ers offensive playbook. And I believe the Chicago Bears defensive playbook. That's what I think. So look at this. On third down, the screen doesn't get me what I need. I was about to kick the field goal. And something told me to go for it. I called a timeout, went for it, and did not get it. Moral of the story. Go with your first thought. Like, I should have kicked the field goal, but it's cool. My defense is out here today. They've been playing great. You guys need to watch that. If you missed my Super Bowl video, I'll include a link to that video in the description. Be sure to check it out. My defense definitely was the hero in that game. And so far, they out here head hunting. They balling in this video, too. Third and short, the guy's going no huddle. Play action, he has time in the pocket. The pressure gets there at the last minute. And Antonio Cromarty, AC coming through with a big time pick. I don't know if I want to give that credit to Cromarty or whoever that was about to destroy his quarterback. Because they both, you know, they went hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Second and six, your boy is in that pistol formation, giving it off to Eddie Lacy. And he's almost giving me a first. Give me close enough to the yellow line that my offense feels like we can get the job done from there. Third and one, I give it to my fullback, Jerome Felt, running folks over. He got us very close. And from here, it's a walk in the park, man. Look at this. Ooh, and I like that. You got to do that hard count so you can see which one he is. Hard count, you see the one guy standing up. You already know his camera probably turned around. He all messed up. 7 0 Painmaker. Now, my defense is back on the field, and this guy has Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn can be a problem. You guys know that, right? Second and short. Like I said, this guy's clearly a Packers fan. He got Packers players all over this team. With some pre-snap adjustments, he decides to pass. And what do you know? He's a Packer fan. I got Clay Matthews over there making another big play. Clay is that dude, right? Right here, he gets stopped short of the first down. He's going for it on fourth and two. A perfect play call. I blitzed. If somebody calls the screen when you blitz, it will look something like this. Now, I'm upset that my secondary couldn't get over there to stop the big play, but we give up a huge play on the screen. And I try to answer his screen with a screen of my own, but I thought I would be, I thought I'd be cute and throw it somewhere other than where the screen play is designed. That didn't go so good. 14-7 him. Don't worry though, it's early. You guys know, I know how to play through adversity. This time I'm letting Cam keep it on the option and look at Cam go. Cam turned on the Jets. That's a big pickup. Maybe 25, 30 yards on the play. Superman, let's go. Play action pass for Cam. I'm hooking up with Jared Cook for the first down here. And now I feel like I'm in control of this game. Now I know what you're thinking. Spade, you're losing. But if I can get points here, I get it back in the third. But before I can even finish saying that, Eddie Lacy just laid down and gave it all up. Jeez. I don't know if you guys noticed this. I titled this game the Turnover Bowl. It would be a lot. Case in point, look at Ed Reed getting the interception right here. Ed Reed is not my starting free safety. Before you guys are like, wait a minute, Spade. Ed Reed's only 81. Right. He's my backup free safety, which makes him play in that quarter. So he was over there for the cover three. Big time play for him. Now let's see if my offense can get back on the board. Like I said I was going to do because I get it back in the third quarter. So my drive stalls. I'm able to tack on another three with the field goal here. We'll go into the half down four points, but we get it back in the third. Let's jump ahead. Third quarter. That was a risky pass, but however, <laughs> it's not as bad as it could have been. It's only a two-yard game. Third and eight, I go no huddle. Now watch this. I'm trying to decide who's going to be open before I snap the ball. Larry Fitzgerald on the receiving end of that catch. 
that might have been the one. Fourth down, I'm going for it. That's typically not what I do. I scramble. I scramble with Cam. Cam gets cracked and fumbled the ball, but somebody on my team recovered. Luckily, because that would have been ugly. That would have just messed up the entire game for me. I'm sure this guy was tight. He didn't get it. Look at this. Cam with the keeper again. This time, his defensive back does a great job of getting off the block, keeping Cam from getting all the yards that he wanted to get. And Cam running again. Sliding, though. I learned. <laughs> I learned. Moving around in the pocket, buying some time to hit Larry Fitzgerald on the crossing route. Larry's going to fight his way down to about the four-yard line, and my offense is definitely going to punch it in from here. The big guy, Eddie Lacy. It was like a walk in the park. Nobody even hit him. 17-14 painmakers, about two minutes to go, and I'm sending blitzes at this guy's quarterback because I already have seen if I send some pressure, he might throw an ill-advised pass. He's done it earlier in this game. We're going to keep blitzing. No huddle here. He's rolling out, buying more time, but you know who over there? Big Robert Quinn is over there. Big time sack. Man, you know what? My defensive line creates more havoc. I mean, really, I don't think my secondary is the hero in these games. It's really my defensive line. These guys don't play. That's the strategy for you guys. Make sure your defensive line is legit. And everything else don't have to be, you know, you don't have to have a boss secondary. Look at this. Robert Quinn bringing the pressure again. That should have been a pick. It's a bat. And we keep it moving. My offense is back on the field. Eddie Lacy, all I want to do right now is keep the time going. Eat up this clock. Get out of here with the win. But I'm passing. You got to be thinking, Spade, why are you passing? I knew not to throw it away, though. I took the sack. Let the time go. He has no timeouts. I punted to Devin Hester high so he can't return it. I don't need Devin Hester shooting down the sideline doing the Deion Sanders dance on me. No, sir. So it's about 30 seconds. I'm pretty sure we get out of here with the win, but you know what? Antonio Cromartie just made that pretty sure, pretty definite. So that's all I got for this one, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Keep in mind, folks, you can get one of these videos from me every other Sunday here on the Full House ENT. If you're not already subscribed, what you waiting on? Go bang the button. All right, folks. That's all I got for this one. I'm out the next time, y'all. Peace.